Hello friends, a very happy new year and a new beginning. As I promised before last time in my previous video, I'm gonna come back with another video this year talking about the feedbacks and the reaction that I you know, have or other people have after getting the first dose of COVID vaccination. Now, this is being more than seven days now after having my first dose last month. In USA, especially in Washington, D.C., the government started giving uh, COVID-19 vaccination. It started from December, like a week ago in U.S., and a um, week or week and a half ago. And uh, everybody, especially from the healthcare, you know, field, uh, they are eligible to get the first lot. So in this in video, the I try to compile the feedbacks from my other colleagues in this field from different, uh, you know, regions of USA and uh, I'm gonna talk about those things and also I'm gonna give a little bit information about uh, comparing the both kind of vaccines uh, available in USA one is the from Pfizer another one is from Moderna I myself got my Moderna vaccination like eight nine days ago and uh, I'm feeling perfectly okay by now. But uh, let's talk about the vaccines first. Uh, a little bit of uh, background information for people from other countries. Uh, they haven't started yet again in Canada, in India, um, or, or in South America. So uh, my, my friends were keep on asking me about some infos uh, here, the vaccines available in US are two clients, Pfizer, and which is uh, its partner with BioNTech and by Moderna. And uh, the, there is a little difference in the target populations or reactions are almost uh, their same uh, in efficacy. And uh, the Pfizer or the Moderna is not, the vaccines are not FDA approved yet. These are available for emergency use authorization for the people in the, you know, uh, hospitals and uh, healthcare, um, you know, field. Now, the Pfizer emergency use authorization is for people aged 16 and older, and Moderna's is for the people um, is 18 and older. Though they started testing their vaccines in 12 or 17 years old too. Now, for uh, as per the vaccine efficacy, both vaccines has shown an astonishing and um, essentially equivalent. Uh, you know, degrees of efficacy after vaccination, uh, though they need to do more long term, you know, they need to do more research on their long term, you know, <laughs> effects, which cannot be, which cannot be talked about at this point. Now, the Pfizer vaccine showed efficacy of um, 95% at uh, preventing symptomatic COVID-19 infection, which is uh, measured start, uh, starting from like seven days after the second dose was administered in experiments and the vaccine appeared to be more or less equally protective across the age groups, uh, the racial or ethnic groups. Now the modern vaccine was uh, around 95% effective at preventing um, symptomatic COVID-19, which is me it measured starting from 14 days after the second dose. Now, the second dose for me is due at the end of January. So I can only talk about the reactions after second dose, maybe af after I get my own vaccination. Now, the vaccine's efficacy appears to be slightly lower in people uh, ages 65 and older, but during, you know, it's, the, it's still in the experimental stage uh, because they have to vaccinate more you know, a wide range of population before they come to any kind of conclusion. 
Uh, both vaccines seem to reduce the risk of severe COVID disease, but yet it's not a stage to talk about whether it's going to prevent the asymptomatic, you know, the infection with the SARS-CoV-2 virus, which is a new strain. It uh, started having, you know, symptoms in population and it, it started in UK probably. And India also have certain cases from people who came from UK. And uh, it has been detected there too. But uh, these vaccines, how much are they effective against this new strain of uh, coronavirus is, uh, is not known yet. Now the number of doses uh, is uh, of course two doses and uh, both Pfizer and BioNTech I mean the um, Moderna it vaccines two shots a uh, priming dose which is the first dose I got like last week and which will be followed by a booster dose which is the second second dose now the interval between the Moderna doses will be 28 days whereas the Pfizer vaccine the interval will be 21 days and um, side effect and here I want to talk about some side effects also. Now, um, side effects is kind of, uh, it, it, it trigger a range of transient side effects on a lot of recipients who, who are known as kind of reactogenic. You know, not everybody has side effects. Some people who, uh, who had reactogenic side effects, which are not very common though, and most common side effects were just the injection side pain, which, which I had pain here just for two days and it's gone. I didn't have to take any kind of pain meds or anything and uh, a little bit fatigue, some uh, headache, muscle pain, joint pain. But um, some clinical trials talked about fever too, but uh, none of my friends uh, talked about fever. So a couple of my friends took uh, um, Pfizer vaccination and for two days, first two days, they had some pounding headache, just feels like a migraine headache and then it's gone. That's what I heard. And uh, with Moderna, I didn't hear about the headache, but uh, one case I heard that they have a transient fever for like six, seven hours after taking first dose. And most of them having the same kind of, you know, complain of the soreness of the injection site and that's it but I would like to talk about um, you know a couple of other stuff but before that I want to share one of my friend a very good friend uh, Dr. Sagar from Texas she sent me a small video after taking her first dose of COVID vaccination I'm really thankful as uh, Ekta for sending this and I want to share here please see that Hi folks my name is Dr. Ekta Sagar and I just wanted to share with you my experience of uh, getting the COVID vaccine so on 26th of December I got my a first dose of the COVID vaccine and it was the Moderna vaccine. Well, the shot was completely painless and um, and I felt great after that. I had no side effects, not on that day, not even after one week. The only thing that happened that day was that my arm was a little sore, but that's no more soreness than any other shot I've received in the past. So I just wanted to let you know, I feel, you know, it's the first step are beginning towards the end so i would encourage all of you to go out there and get the vaccine done and in fact the same day my husband also got vaccinated and he feels great too and he's had no symptoms or no side effects thank Thanks, you dr sagar and uh, i just received some text messages from uh, other office staffs like the assistants nurses and managers of the offices and uh, they I'm ha like having pouring in all the messages because I asked for their feedbacks and everybody has really good positive feedbacks none of them have any negative reactions it's been more than seven ten days that we got these vaccinations in DC Virginia Maryland areas 
uh, only one doctor from GWU hospital mentioned that she had some headaches for two, three days, but she got Pfizer vaccine and she's feeling okay. She's back to work, no problem, no fever, nothing, and no uh, muscle pain. And uh, she, nobody had to take I'd any I'd like pain. to finish this video after discussing two more points real quick uh, try to avoid uh, taking Tylenol Advil or any kind of analgesics uh, right after the vaccine shot if it is like causing the you know it, it, it prevents the immune response uh, and uh, no inflammatory reactions but then it will decrease the efficacy of the vaccine and uh, the second one is uh, there is a storage issue of the Pfizer because of the you know the temperature that's needed uh, to store the Pfizer vaccines especially for shipping and storage of Pfizer vaccine needs minus 94 Fahrenheit that's the super cooler you know freezer needed which uh, is available only in the hospital settings where um, whereas the Moderna can be shipped and stored in minus 4 Fahrenheit and it is available in all pharmacies so availability of Moderna vaccination is still more than Pfizer the accessibility is more for Moderna vaccination than Pfizer because Pfizer can be given only in hospital setting and it cannot be stored in just the doctor's offices or just the pharmacies and uh, Moderna is available in almost all pharmacies now especially giant stores and it will be available more I hope in other pharmacies too and the health departments also keeping Moderna vaccination and uh, that's so it stay actually. tuned and keep watching my videos that I'm posting in my channel i really appreciate if you guys can subscribe my channel like comment share and let me know uh, what else you want me to discuss uh, in my channel and there will be all the space for suggestions and feedbacks and improvement and just be happy be healthy and uh, always still maintain the social distancing keep wearing the mask and yeah and let me be hopeful that we all can come together and fight this covid 19 situation and thank you so much for watching this video please share comment and subscribe thank you